Chris, I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not going to give up without a fight. I see. And even if you don't think you'll ever be able to love me again, remember what we had. Why chuck all that away over some stupid error of judgment? Why, indeed? We're still good together in bed. <laughs> we make each other laugh. I, I like your company. I, I miss you when we're apart. Chris, I still fancy you. I love you. My life won't be worth living if I can't have you back. Charity, how much more can you degrade yourself? I admit it. All those feelings we have for each other. They can't just evaporate, can they? Seems to me they have. Whatever it takes, Chris, I'll do it. Let me top that up for you. I know you want to make me suffer. So I'll suffer. But you won't ever stop me coming back for more. You won't ever stop me from loving you, Chris. Very moving. I think we should drink to the sentiment. Chris, be careful what you're doing. Remembering how it felt to want you dead. Believe me, I've given it serious thought. I've lain awake at night fantasizing over the way to do it. A long, lingering death or a short, nasty one. But you know what the conclusion I came up with is? No. Killing her is too easy. She wouldn't suffer enough. She wouldn't have to live with the thought of what she's done to me for the rest of her worthless life. So it's better that we do it the less conventional way round. It's better you kill me. Chris, pack it in, you're freaking me out. I love you. I'll never forgive you for as long as I live and I'll hate you even longer. I'll despise you for eternity. So, I propose a toast to the death of our marriage. No, no, Chris, no. Surely you can join me, for old time's sake. This is not the end. I'm not going to let you throw it all away, Chris. I'm just not going to let you do it. I'm not. <laughs>